In this video, we'll show you how to add over-the-air capabilities to your ESP32 and ESPD266 web server projects. In this tutorial, we'll use Arduino IDE, but we also give instructions if you want to use VS Code with Platform I.O. by the end of this video. An over-the-air update is the process of loading new firmware to the ESP boards using a Wi-Fi connection rather than serial communication. This functionality is extremely useful in case of no physical access to the device. There are several ways to perform OTA updates. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to do that using the async elegant OTA library. In our opinion, this is the easiest way to perform OTA updates, and it is compatible and easy to use with the ESP async web server library that we often use in our projects. This library creates a web server that you can access on your local network to upload new firmware or files to the file system over the air. Start by installing the library. In your Arduino ID, go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and search for Async Elegant OTA, and install it. You should also install these libraries. After installing all the libraries, copy this basic example provided by the library. It creates a simple web server. The root URL displays some text, and the update URL shows the interface to update the firmware and the file system. You just need three lines of code to add OTA capabilities to your web servers. First, include the library. Second, add this line to start elegant OTA in the setup. And finally, add this line to the loop. Insert your network credentials in these variables and upload the code to your board. Open the serial monitor, press the onboard reset button, and you should get the ESP IP address. In your local network, open your browser and type the IP address. You should get access to the root web page with some text. Now, imagine that you want to modify your web server code. To do that via OTA, go to the ESP IP address followed by update. This web page loads. Every file that you want to upload via OTA should be in .bin format. Let's see a practical example. Imagine that you want to upload a new sketch that allows you to control an LED via a web interface like this project. Here are the steps you need to follow. Copy the code provided and don't forget to insert your network credentials. This is the same code used in this project, but it contains the needed code to handle elegant OTA. Save your sketch and give it a name. Generate a .bin file from your sketch. Go to Sketch, Export Compiled Binary, and a new binary file is created under the project folder. Now you just need to upload that file using the update page. Make sure you have the firmware option selected. Click on the choose file and select the binary file you've just generated. When it's finished, click the back button. Then you can go to the root URL to access the new web server. You can click the on button to control the onboard LED. Because we've also added OTA capabilities to this new web server, we can upload a new sketch in the future if needed. You can also upload files to the file system using Elegant OTA. As an example, we'll create a web server that serves files from the file system. First, we'll update the firmware and then we'll upload the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files to the file system over the air. Copy the following code. Insert your network credentials in these variables and save it. Create a binary file from this sketch and upload the new firmware as shown previously. Next, we will upload the files to the file system. Under the project folder, create a new folder called data and move the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files provided. With the ESP disconnect from your computer, click on this menu, or this one, depending on the board you're using. 
You'll get an error because there isn't an ESP board connect your computer. Don't worry. Scroll up on the debugging window until you find a file with this extension, or this one. That's the file that you should upload. Here you can see where it is located. Select the file path and copy it to the file explorer bar. This is the file that you are looking for. To make it easier to find, you can copy it to your project folder. Go to your ESP IP address followed by update. Make sure you have the file system option selected and select the .bin file. After successfully uploading, click the back button and go to the root URL again. You should get access to the following web page that controls the ESP outputs using WebSocket protocol. If you use VS Code with Platform IO to program your ESP boards and want to use the async elegant OTA library, you need to copy these lines to your project configuration file. To get the firmware bin file, you just need to compile the code and it will automatically generate the .bin file for your project. The file is called firmware.bin and it is saved on your project folder on a similar path. To get the bin file for the file system image, you just need to select this icon and click on the build file system image on the project tasks. After that, you should have the spiffs.bin or littlefs.bin file in this path. We have a complete guide on how to use elegant OTA with a ESP using Arduino IDE or VS Code. Check the links in the video description. And that's it. Now you know how to add OTA capabilities to your web server projects and how to upload new firmware and update the file system. We hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and ring the bell for post notifications to catch my next ESP projects. Thanks for watching.